Sydney's got through. Played on. It may have been via the pad, or it may just have been the inside edge, but it was definitely some in-swing that undid him. I think he's starting to play for the one going away. Now straight back on to leg stump by the look of it. A breakthrough for Whitney. Despair for Gordon Greenwich. One for Nighty. Wilhelm Kai, but now finishes, caught cover. Ball hits straight to cover, so Michael Whitney has been rewarded for some very good bowling after lunch. Yes, they needed this one, and he went after it. He wasn't quite to the pitch of it. It went flying in the direction of Jones, who made no mistake. Caught that ball around his ankles, and he knew that was a bit of a bonus. But uh, well bowled Michael Whitney. He's kept a good line there. And Richie Richardson on his way after a magnificent 106. The West Indies, two down for 186. Beautifully bowled. Beautifully bowled. Michael Whitney has three wickets. This is an inspired spell from him. A terrific performance out there. That one not only moved away off the seam, but it lifted as well. Well, the advantage of the angle, very apparent here. The extra bounce, he certainly got the jag that Richie was talking about. And what an excited man. Brought into this test match because Terry Alderman was out with a, with a hamstring. Carl Hooper disappointing two. West Indies three for 190. And that's taken this time. Richards is gone in the exact position where he was dropped. Boone holds the catch. And Whitney has another wicket as soon as he's come back. And how ironic, Richards was dropped there when he was 17 by Jones. And now caught in that position on 69. Well, how often do we see the bowling change? Burgess was looked after fairly easily. With a little bit of extra bounce, perhaps a, a change in angle, change in pace. Boone takes a very fine catch. The West Indies captain, and what a breakthrough for Australia. Out for 69. Six West Indies wickets down now. The total, 315. He's caught it. He's held on to it. That's Whitney's fifth wicket. Jeff Marsh juggling, and in the end, holding the catch. That dismisses Marco Marshall for a duck. Michael Whitney has got five wickets in the test innings for the first time and the West Indies are seven for 315. And what a timely performance it's been too. The variation in the Australian tack. A left-hander doing the damage as so often we see in test cricket. And what a great catch by Marsh. Ecstasy from the bowler. And what a magnificent return to test cricket. Daddles the duck, walks off with the batsman, the bowler excited, and the West Indies, seven for 315. Well bowled. Another appeal. Umpires under pressure here. That's three now. The Australians have gone up for three in succession. Out. Got in. Yes, that's out. Well bowled. Six for Michael Whitney. A wonderful performance. Duck this one in short. The big fella himself, Ambrose, uh, doesn't mind doing that to the tail. And he's got a bit of his own back. And I think the most important thing is, from the Australian's point of view, is that a wicket has fallen. So that makes Australia even in with a bigger chance now. West Indies, eight for 331. Well taken there by Ian Healy. So Courtney Walsh doesn't get a knot out in this innings. And Michael Whitney has taken his seventh for the innings. That's his best figures in first-class cricket. Very well deserved. What a time to do it. And a good catch from Ian Healy. The angle that Whitney bowls from, 
means the keeper's got to stand reasonably wide and anything down leg side you've got to get those feet moving very quickly and what I liked about that catch was there was no diving he stood up and caught it and that's a very good performance by both Whitney and Healy Courtney Walsh out for four West Indies now nine for 346